Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name is Keith. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, before I uh, I start uh, today's rant on um, Scott Israel, Eddie Johnson, um, I wanted to talk about <clears throat> running. If you guys are interested in running, uh, if there's any run runners out there in the audience, uh, my wife has a fantastic um, running channel called the Running Jocelyn Richards. She is a long distance runner, a marathon runner, and if you guys want to check her channel out, do that. I will put a link in the description, and I will also put it in the uh, end screen, so you can just click on that and go right to uh, to her uh, her channel and uh, check out her stuff. And uh, do me a favor, if you do decide to go there, let her know that uh, you came from my channel so she figures out where her subscribers are coming from. I don't like running. Uh... I I know it's good for you. I don't like to do it. It's not my bag. Um, this is what I like to do. This is me. Cycling is my exercise of choice. Um, I like it. Makes you kind of look like a mushroom. A little bit. But I like this nice helmet. Protects your head. Makes you very aerodynamic. Makes you go very fast, actually. The helmet doesn't make you go very fast, but uh, I tell you what, I get to go pretty fast on my bike. But anyways, um, go check my wife's channel out if you want to see that. I'm going to take this off now. All right, so back to the news of Scott Israel in uh, in Florida. Did you guys uh, see the news? I don't know if it was last night or this morning where um, the legislature in Florida finally, um, finally, after, God, it's like, Almost 11 months after they suspended this guy, um, they finally made it permanent and said, you're out of here. We don't want you anymore. Um, the bad news is, is that he already put his papers in for re-election in 2020. So even though the legislature said, you're officially out of here, Governor Rick Scott said, um, you're out of here. Is it, is it Rick Scott? No, Ron DeSantis. I get confused. So it's... uh. It was Rick Scott, but Ron so Ron DeSantis said, "You're out of here," along with the uh, the legislature. But unfortunately, it's not going to stop him from uh, running uh, again in 2020 for re-election. And as I'm sure you're all aware, Broward County is, you know, almost 100 percent Democrat. So I think there's six, five or six Democrats running for sheriff, um, including this jackass, and. Uh, you know it's going to happen. You know if they don't if they don't pick one of the other six or one of the other five candidates, this jackass is going to get elected again as the most incompetent and cowardice cowardly sheriff in this country. I mean, what sheriff changes the verbiage in his? I think it's in in their school shooting. Um, uh, not handbook, but you know, in the way that they're supposed to handle school shootings, it used to say to the deputies, "You shall go in and stop the assailant or the you know the the shooter." And and Scott Israel changed it to say, "You may go in and stop the school shooter or assailant, whatever the words are." So it went from shall to may. So now. You have what happened in, in Parkland. You have all these deputies outside of the school not going in because they may go in, not shall. There was no, you need to go in there and stop this in paper. So all these deputies, cowardly deputies, can't go in and protect kids against a shooter, they need to sit there and hide in the fucking bushes while this guy does his damage. Absolutely ridiculous. And the fact that he can get reelected really pisses me off. I, I think that, you know, once you've, you've been removed from office, there should be a clause where it says, we don't want you back anymore, you know? It's like in the military. If you screw up in the military, there's, there's re-enlistment codes that say, you, we don't want you back anymore, man. You're not coming back because you're a screw-up, and we don't need your kind here. Same thing with these guys. You screw up. You change the rules. Um, you 
You show cowardice. You're a cop, for God's sakes. This is what you signed up for. Do your job, as Bill Belichick would say. Do your job. So, I am glad this guy's gone. But I'm also really nervous that the Democrat voters in Broward County will just vote him back in again because he's a Democrat. And that's what these guys do. Um, you're not supposed to take politics. I know that being a sheriff, a county sheriff is an elected position, but come on, man. Just because you are a, um, a Democrat does not mean that you play politics with kids' lives during an active shooter situation like these these deputies and the sheriff did. They did not go in because they literally took what that paper said to heart. I would have said, I, if it was me and I was a deputy down there and it said it, it, they changed it from shall to may, I don't care. I would have been like, there's somebody shooting at kids. I'm a cop. That's what I do. I go in there and I protect, especially children. Ridiculous. So ridiculous. And then you have this guy, Eddie Johnson, in uh, Chicago, who, you know, is refusing to go to um, uh, the convention that Trump's going to for the uh, Fraternal Order or the Fraternal Brotherhood of Police. I'm not sure what it's called exactly. I'm sorry if I butchered it. Um, but he's refusing to go there because he's making it political. And this guy isn't elected. He was appointed by um, Rahm, Rahm Emanuel to be the superintendent of the Chicago police. So this asshole is making it political by saying, I don't want to make it political, so I'm staying away because uh, Trump's a racist and um, all this racist, racial, uh, racist talk coming out of the White House, I don't want to be there because it would be in uh, my best interest to stay away. Well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that four or five days ago you were found drunk slumped over in your car about a block away from your house, asshole, and it's not a good look for you um you know maybe you should you should just go away too the the fob the fraternal order of or fop or bro, whatever it's called the fraternal order of police or brotherhood of police uh voted no confidence so that should tell you something they don't have confidence in your ability you need to step aside too and i thought once there was a vote of no confidence that um you need to step down or you need to resign i'm not sure of the process but I'm pretty sure that, you know, once you have, you know, your brotherhood of police saying, hey, man, time for you to go. We have no more. We have no confidence in your abilities to be the superintendent. You should probably just step down and go away and just fade off into the distance. But no, 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 no. Your mayor, uh, what's her name? Little Sparrow Whitefeather. Uh, I can't remember her name. Um, whatever. Um, came to your defense and said, oh, uh uh, it, uh, Eddie, ja Eddie Johnson, he's my, he's my buddy. Yeah, we're pals. Yeah, no. You're both registered Democrats. Obviously, the mayor of Chicago is a Democrat. This guy's a registered Democrat. And the freaking governor of New York, of uh, Illinois, is also a Democrat. Where's he in this process? Where, I haven't heard shit from him. You know, he's, he's, he's the, uh, what, the second wealthiest ever politician to be elected to office. And, and, and he's gone, what's his name, J.B. Pritzker, Pritzler, whatever. Where where are you, you job of the hut looking troll? Where 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 are you to take care of this business? You're gonna let the mayor of Chicago do it? Oh, I know what it is. You're all Democrats. Democrats, you know, don't care about the the rule of law. Let this guy be drunk in his car, passed out, and then just let him drive home to his house. Who cares if it's only you know one or two blocks away? The laws don't apply to you guys. Apparently not. Apparently not. That's why I'm glad that this happened. Uh, to Scott Israel in Florida, where the legislature actually booted his ass out finally. They actually followed the law. Oh, but then again, it's a you know Republican uh, majority in their legislature. I mean, look at look at uh, look at David Clark in Wisconsin, the uh, the past sheriff there. He's a registered Democrat, but he's got common sense and follows the law. I mean, I'm sure you guys saw him. He's the sheriff that wore the uh, the cowboy hat all the time. I'm sure you guys have seen him on Fox News and, and on other news programs. When he talks, it's common sense. It's what's best for the country, what's best for his community, not what's best for me. 
But that's what these Democrats are doing in Chicago and in Florida. It's what's best for me. Is my career going to end because um, I have zero morals? Well, yeah, it should. It should end, but it doesn't because you're protected by your other Democrat buddies who are in power above you, mayor, governor, etc. And this really fires me up. So it's good news that Scott Israel is no longer the um, county sheriff. Bad news that he's back on the freaking ballot again for 2020. So do me a favor. If you live in Broward County, don't vote for this jackass. Vote for anybody but him. I don't care if it's another Democrat because that's probably what it's going to be. I don't know if they're, I don't know if the interim uh, sheriff, I can't remember his name. I think it's Tony, Tony Scott, maybe. Maybe it's another Scott. It's Tony, Tony something, I think. I don't know if he's a Republican or a Democrat, but is he seems to be doing a good job. Vote him back. Vote him in. You know, I don't know if he's put paperwork in or not, but vote that guy in. He's been there since January. I haven't heard boo about anything um, since he's been in office. So that's probably a good thing. We you don't hear anything good or bad, you're doing your job. All right, guys. With that being said, I'm going to I'm gonna call this video quits and uh, go get my, my eldest son off the bus and get ready for baseball practice. Last, uh, I think it's going to be his last fall ball practice for this year. And... Uh, yeah, it should be it should be good. So I uh, hope you guys have a, a great rest of the day slash night. Always remember to stay on the right side. Do me a favor. Give me a big thumbs up because that helps. If you're subscribed, please make sure you're still subscribed. And if you're not, do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. I look forward to it. And I lost a train of mind. I lost my train of thought because I'm a freaking moron. Anyways. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have an awesome night. Peace out. I don't know why I said that again. It's not me. I don't usually say peace out, but whatever. See you later. <laughs> right. Talk to you guys soon.